What's up, guys? It's soapbox time. <laughs> oh, boy, I got so much to catch you guys up on. Anyways, I hope everybody's having a wonderful week. I just got back from seeing the movie Chucky. We won't say it too loud because then Peter's going to be mad that I went without him, even though I'm going to take him here very, very soon. But anyways, that movie was really good. It was actually really, really good. It was way better than like the old school Chuckies, and it's because of the the storyline. Now, I'm not a movie spoiler. I'm just kidding. I'm totally a movie spoiler, but I won't spoil this movie for you. The movie was good, though. So if you guys like the Chucky movie and all the Chucky series, this is probably the best one since Chucky won. So anyways, it's good, and it's all about, like, Basically, like, a computer taking over and da-da-da-da-da, whatever. So, long story short, it was good. So, um, to update you guys on um, Peter's sleepover party, that was awesome. Um, I don't think that I will allow any more than maybe two children at a time moving forward, considering that, um, yeah, I just don't think I want more than, like, one child at a time. Yep, definitely more than no more than one child. He's lucky he has one child to come over. Okay. So the sleepover actually was a success. Me and John ordered like Uber Eats like every two hours for these kids and for us, of course. But it was a good time. Um, so yeah, sleepover was a success. And um, yeah, I just don't know. I think next time that maybe first of all, I definitely don't need to do a sleepover on a Tuesday night. Mm hmm. Second of all, I don't think that the sleepover should be more than one child. <laughs> I know that probably sounds ridiculous. Anyways, I just got home. It is movie night. So I can't say I just got out of work because then I'd be lying. But I did get out of work at probably like 7.15 or so. And the uh, Chucky movie was sold out. So of course I had to like drive all the way to Wesley Chapel, which was absolutely amazing drive. Just kidding. And, um, yeah, that was fun. So, anyways, I I must tell you, because I've literally told anybody that, like, is a friend of mine and all my uh, coworkers slash my workers slash whatever, I've told them the story <laughs> about this spider issue. You guys are not going to believe. It's, like, it's so, I've, it's so messed up. All right, so... <laughs> I am absolutely petrified of spiders, like petrified. John just got home. Why do I always beat John by like, literally, I beat John by like 10 minutes every time. It's not like I drive fast or anything, you know? Just kidding, I do drive fast. So anyways, um, so I am absolutely petrified of spiders, okay? I don't like any sort of little living creatures besides this one. This one's a good one. This one. This is a good living creature. Yeah, that's Xena. Yeah. All right. So everybody's seen Xena. That's the only living creature I like. Okay. So anyways, moving forward. So I don't like spiders. I don't like roaches, whatever. Long story short, everybody knows that we went to Orlando last weekend and we took Peter shooting and to every theme park on the planet and, you know, had a grand old time and it was great. We had a great old time. Okay. So <laughs> I leave my car parked in my driveway. Now I do not live in the woods. Okay. I don't. I live like in a like a sub subdivision with like other vehicles and there's not a lot of woods around. OK, so don't blame it on a freaking tree hanging out over my damn car. And that's why there's a spider end up in my car. So anyways, I go to get in my vehicle on Monday. OK, now John was going to the UPS. There's like a whole story behind this. So John's going to the UPS store, right? Because he's got to drop off some shoes because, you know, he's like selling shoes and buying shoes and selling shoes and buying shoes and shoes show up every day. And then he's selling more shoes, whatever. So anyways, he's going to the UPS store. I'm like, hey, I'll meet you down the street. We'll go to work together whatever. I got to get some gas. So I go to open my car door and I open at the back because I usually open the back first and I put my, you know, work bag in the back seat. And then I usually open the front door and I get in the vehicle. So I open the back door. And I put my bag in the seat. And I'm like, I look up and I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, there's a freaking spider web in my vehicle. Now, at the back seat, it was like, like that, you know, it was like kind of like that. OK, now, OK, this is where it gets super, super messed up. Ready for it? 
ready for it. Just wait for it. <laughs> this is what happens. I open up my car door, like the driver's side. And um, when I tell you that Charlotte's Web was built in my vehicle, it wasn't like one string and it wasn't two strings. What up, Angela? It wasn't three strings. It wasn't four strings. It was a fortress. There was a spider that built a freaking ass castle in my house in my house my house that's my car i call that my house because i live in it literally all week so it builds a castle inside of my vehicle literally blocking the freaking door from top to bottom now talking about somebody that is like absolutely petrified of spiders this is not any good this is a bad situation not only do I have to clean out the spider webs because my husband went to the UPS store, but I refused to pick up the phone and call John and be like, John, you have to drive all the way back home because there's a big ass spider web that you need to take out of my vehicle. Now, granted, as I'm thinking in the back of my head, I'm like, wait a minute, let me think this through here for a second. This car has been parked in my driveway for three to four days, three and a half days. Okay. And it built a fortress in my car from top to bottom and all the way to the back seat and to the front driver window. Now, let me ask you this. What kind of spider can do that in three days? A big spider? I can assure you it's probably not a little spider. <laughs> so anyways, this is what happened. Long story short. So obviously, like, I'm like, okay, I'm in a situation. I can't go and, like, call John. I mean, I could call John. And he would totally turn around and come. But, like, eh, whatever. I'm not going to be, like, mm, you know, a priss, okay? I was going to get through it myself. And then tell him about it three seconds later. So anyways, I go, I grab, like, a shirt that's in the garage. And I, like, you know, take out all the spider webs or whatever. So I take out all the spider webs. And, you know, I'm, like, literally, like, throwing it like this, trying to get all the spider webs out. I do the back seat. You know, I do the front seat. I'm just like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. So now I'm freaking out because I'm like, okay, this spider is in the vehicle. And, like, now I have to get in the vehicle. And the spider's going to bite me. Now, okay. For those of you that don't know me that well, I am one of those people that, like, and I tell you guys this all the time, the glass is always half empty. I'm, like, negative Nancy. And it's good to have someone like me around all the time because, you know, all the people that think positive, it's great. And I, like, love having positive people in my life. But I'm, like, the realist, okay? I'm the person that's going to tell you that, hey, I'm going to get in my car and, God forbid, I crash the car and die. It's because the spider jumped out and it bit me. And now I'm dead. So anyways, I did call John because I was absolutely petrified. Now, I called John. Love you too, Matt. I called John after I spent like 10 minutes trying to get in my car. It was so sad, actually, guys. I'm not even going to play. It's super sad. Super sad. So like I literally put like one leg in the car and then I got out. And then I got like put one like arm in the car and then I got out. And then I like put like, you know, I sat in the seat and then I got out. It took me probably like, I'm not even gonna lie. It took me like 15 or 16 times to like actually get into the vehicle. Now, once I got in the vehicle, I put like all my AC shit, I put it on blast, right? So I put it on blast thinking that, okay, God forbid the spider is like hanging out all the way in there. I know, isn't this messed up, Natasha? <laughs> I'm swear to God, I'm, I'm like not even lying. I'm telling you the truth. So anyways, I put it on blast, hoping that it'll kill it, you know? Now, granted, guys, don't forget, it's been raining in Florida for, like, two weeks straight, okay? So, <laughs> so I'm driving. I'm like, let me get in the car. I got to get to work, right? I got to get to work. How in the hell? Wait, let me ask you this. How am I supposed to smash the spider if I can't find it? All I know is the evidence that it left behind, it created a freaking Charlotte's Web in my vehicle. Obviously, it's in there. I just don't know where the hell it's at. I ain't about to go look for it. That's for damn sure. So anyways, I get in the vehicle and I roll down all four windows in the rain. Because I'm thinking, of course, if the spider's in the car, that it's going to leave if I roll down all the windows. Right? So, you know, my dumbass, I go ahead and I don't care if it's raining or not. I don't care what kind of mildew gets in this vehicle. I'm going to roll down all the windows and this spider is going to leave. 
<laughs> so anyways, I was absolutely petrified, okay? So this story, like, does continue um, to some degree. It's super messed up. So we do have this building, and, you know, I park in this little area or whatever. And in this area, it does have, like, some spider webs and cobwebs and stuff like that. I told you guys that I like to drive with my sunroof open. So usually I do open up my sunroof to drive, right? So I'm thinking, well, shit, maybe I open up my sunroof and the spider, like, dropped into my vehicle and it built a damn spider web, right? So anyways... Guys, could you only imagine, could you think, think for one second, if you think there's a big ass spider in your car, do you think for one second that you're not going to be scared driving? So yes, I did call John and yes, I did tell him that if I crash this vehicle today, it's because the spider bit me or jumped out on my steering wheel and that's why the vehicle is going to be jacked, okay? Just letting you know in advance. <laughs> so anyways... <laughs> This gets worse, all right? So I'm like, the, it must have been in the, you know, in the parking lot. That's how they had to have gotten in there like that. I mean, how else would it have gotten in there? So yesterday, I go into the parking lot and, you know, I'm already like skis out, right? It's already been two days where I'm like, all right, you know, every time I get into the car, I'm like looking around, trying to find this spider. Like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You know, I, even my mom, my mom came over the weekend and I told her about it, obviously. And she's like, oh, Sharice, I Googled it. And on Google, it says that if you do this, this and that, and you put this citrus smell, blah, 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 it'll make sure the spider doesn't come back. All right, cool. So I'm gonna put some citrus smell and, you know, make sure that I don't get bitten by a spider, okay? Worst fear ever, bitten by a spider. So anyways, I go and I get in my car driving. It's late as hell last night, super late, okay? It's probably like nine o'clock and I'm ready to leave work. I go into the parking lot and I'm getting ready to get the car. You know, John always meets me downstairs or whatever to make sure that I'm still alive. So anyways, I get to go in the car and I like click the keys and all of a sudden because there's a little sewer I know what my the luck the luck of having a sewer next to my vehicle in my parking space so there's a little sewer next to the vehicle and there's this big ass black thing that rolls up out of the damn thing and what do you know it's a spider it's a spider it's a spider that crawled up out of the thing and it starts rolling up underneath my car and I'm like oh Hell no. I am not getting in this car. There is nothing you can do. So, of course, I call, I pick up the phone. I call John. Of course, I took a video of this, too. I should probably post in the comments because it's freaking funny. Uh, it wasn't funny at the time, but it's funny now. So, anyways, I pick up the phone and I call John. And I'm like, dude, I'm like, you need to come down here immediately. I'm not even playing games. I'm like, come down here and come and kill the spider. I'm not getting in this car. So... <laughs> so he came down and he like you know obviously he saw it you know and so he gets in the car and he backs it up and when he backs it up underneath the car is like four other like spider whatever the hell's underneath the car uh -uh. at that point guys let me tell you at that point i was like i am definitely not getting in that car I don't care if the Corvette is wrapped or not. I promise I will drive nicely. I will not flick anyone off and I will not beep the horn. Give me the keys to the Corvette because I'm not driving my car. Your ass is driving that home because I'm not getting in that car. I can, You could not pay me to get in that car. <laughs> so anyways, I was absolutely petrified to get in the vehicle and I made John drive it home. Yep. And I drove the Corvette. Now, granted, I did drive the Corvette, and I was like, damn, I really want a Corvette now. But anyways, long story short, I am petrified of spiders. That whole story is messed up. Come to find out, I decided to be, you know, and I did do this, like, based off emotion. My email was slightly based off emotion at the time, considering that I'm like, oh, my goodness, I'm paying for this, like, badass space in this badass building, and you guys got these badass spiders that are jumping up under my car. So anyways, I write this email to the people of the building, and the lady in the building writes me back and she was like, just so you know, they're not spiders. I'm not sure if like a spider actually crawled into your vehicle, but I'm just going to let you know they're actually crab, fritter, whatever the hells. And I'm like, exactly. Just like that. So I want to know like, okay, so regardless if they're crabs or if they're spiders, I don't think anybody wants crabs or spiders near their friggin' car. Okay. Nobody wants that. Okay? Okay. So, to conclude the story, 
I am still very petrified to get into my vehicle, knowing that I still have to drive my vehicle. I am a big girl, and I am a brave girl. <laughs> the story itself is absolutely messed up, but what I am going to do is I did Google it, and you can put stuff on the outside of your vehicle. Like, it's, I don't know. It's like oil, whatever the hell. I'll make sure I don't ruin the paint or, like, you know, the wrap, John, in case you're watching. So, I'll make sure it doesn't get ruined. But I am going to put this shit on the car because I am not dealing with spiders. I don't do spiders. I don't do bugs. I just don't do it. I don't want to do it. Okay? Just don't want to do it. So, anyways, this week has been really good. It actually hasn't been a bad week at all. The girls in the office have been absolutely amazing. We were super short-staffed all week, so hence the reason I am operating. I think yesterday I got five hours of sleep, so that was a plus. But tonight I am definitely going to get some sleep. <laughs> so anyways, that story's super messed up because, guys, think about it. If you were to get in your car, right, just think, of, just think about it. Just think if you were me, all right? And me, I'm petrified of spiders. So think about if you weren't actually scared of spiders, right? And you opened your car door thinking like everything is normal, okay? And you open the car door and then all of a sudden you see that Charlotte's Web has been built in your vehicle from top to bottom like this, okay? Do you think you get in your vehicle? I want you to ask yourself that question tonight. <laughs> Seriously, though, the story's super messed up. Anyways, I hope everybody's having a good night. That's my spider story. The Chucky movie was badass. So if anybody that does like Chucky, definitely go see that movie because it was really, really good. It's all about AI and not really necessarily a possession type of deal. So it's a little bit more realistic. So it did make the movie a lot better. Um, and then, you know, make sure if you've never had a slumber party with all of your, you know, like kids friends just keep it to a minimum you know mm, maybe one kid at a time because when you have more than one child they kind of you know you give them sugar and then they bounce off the walls and then they're jumping around and they're screaming and jumping and it's just too much commotion going on in my house okay there's just too much commotion it's too much i can't handle all that commotion i have enough commotion with like nine girls at the office okay i'll take the nine girls at the office call it a day uh, uh, uh. I come home and I'm done. But having to have the sleepover and then get up and go to work the next day for like, that wasn't even just a regular day. Yesterday was night clinic. So we have one day at the at Titan where we do a night clinic. And it's like maybe two times a month or something, you know, because we're like booked out for forever. So anyways, we do one night and it happens to be the one night after the slumber party where I'm being kept up till like 12 o'clock because I have to make sure that everybody's kids like are fed and they sleep okay and they have blankets and pillows and shit. So anyways, that's my tip of advice to you guys for the week. Okay. So anyways, I hope everybody had a good week. And again, I'm going to sign off because I am going to go get some sleep. But always remember that if something crawls into your vehicle and builds a castle, Mm, you might want to get that checked out. Mm -hmm. So John's going to get it checked out for me, right? <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm out of here. It's been a long ass week and I'm done. Bye, Carl. See ya. And makabooka muchy muchy. Good to see you too. I'll talk to you later. Bye.